day the storm happened, several townships sent their trucks and their personnel down here to help the township. So it just shows you how municipalities work together to try and solve their problems. It's a real tribute to the elected officials here in the township and other townships here in York County that they pitch in to help one another. Uh, and uh, it, it, like I said, it's about working together. And uh, I, I'm just really proud to represent this area because of the elected officials like the supervisors we have here today. Uh, they, you know, it's building those relationships that makes the difference and the trust that people are willing to share in uh, helping people when the tough times come. The bid for this bridge is already open. We don't know who has it yet, right. but we'll have a minute or two. But could you tell them what you think PennDOT has spent and will be spending to fix the well, these let, projects? Well, let, let me just mention from a statewide perspective. You know, 2019, we bid about $2.2 .2 billion worth of work across the entire state. Uh, when we looked at all the different uh, emergency projects that we had in the last fiscal year, it was over $130 million. So that gets to be a pre, you know, you're talking about 5% of your budget. So uh, again, I, I think you, you step through, you know, a, a location like this to you put a single span structure in here, uh, you know, you, you include the design work and things like that. I would imagine this is gonna be in the million and a half uh, dollar ballpark. Just in the short time that I'm here, I've already seen three bridges that are out and we didn't travel that far. No. And I'm sure we could pick anywhere in this area and we could see multiple other bridges uh, that, that need help. So it's the volume, it's uh, the age of our infrastructure. We're one of the oldest uh, transportation networks in the country. All of our bridges are aging out at the same time. You know, bridges, their life expectancy, you know, they were built for 50, you know, 60, maybe 75 years. And all of our bridges are in the senior citizen category right now. The good news here is we did use a, a state uh, pot of emergency funding. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, when you're looking at transportation in a county like York, uh, those funds are important because we didn't have to uh, defer another project that was already programmed and ready to go. So uh, we're, we're happy we're at a point where we're going to open up bids today and, uh, you know, we can move forward. And uh, between this one and the one over at Lucky Road, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll finally get through uh, the damage that was done from the storm.